It is 6.35. We're just a couple of miles northeast of Chickasha. The storm that was tornado worn for about the last hour is not now, but it's shown some signs of looking a little bit better on radar. You can see that there. And uh, I think it's actually traveling along the cool frontal boundary. It's probably getting a little bit of enhanced uh, inflow of the velocity. How long that lasts depends on the cool front's nature. I don't know if it's stalling or if it's plowing underneath the storm. You can kind of see the anvil right there. Uh, basically, if I were to continue to go down I-44, I would run right into where the rotation might be setting up. So when I get to Chickasha, I think what we're going to do is maybe head south. What we're looking at there is the forward flank downdraft of this storm. I'm getting off in Chickasha and heading south of town to get a better vantage point, but that's the forward flank uh, downdraft as it may be melding with the cool front, cold front at this hour. So uh, my task here is to get south of this. Okay, right now we're driving south um, out of Chickasha and hopefully get southeast of this thing. I think uh, over that Holiday Inn Express there is the uh, mothership formation or at least an inflow cloud. You can't tell quite yet until I get a little closer. Uh, this is, a, I think, a really good route to take here. This is going to give me some good perspective on a lower base here, I think, in a minute. Horrible. Oh, great. Plop the ground lightning flash there. Horrible backlighting, at least as far as I can tell, but I've got a lot of city clutter in my way here, so once we get past this, we'll be able to figure out what's going on. Still taping here. We're, we got a little bit of uh, a shot of clear here, but not too much. We got businesses are starting to break up here, so this is a good good place to sit. I think uh, we're going to see some structure here in a minute. Very nice structure here. I want to be able to stop and take a look at this here in a minute. That could be a developing uh, rotation right there, actually. Make some haste here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm driving right past this thing. I'll feel safer if I get about another mile down the road here. The clouds overhead are racing uh, north northwest, it looks like. So there might be something developing in this area right here, which is just a little bit west-southwest of me. And again, just want to emphasize how these clouds here are really racing. They're inflowing from the northeast in to this part of the storm. And I can tell you right now, this is going to be horribly backlit, but, and there's some good vertical structure right there. This is fantastic. Okay, now going west out of Rush Springs on Highway 17 to a second cell, kind of a daisy chain cell. Saw an excellent cloud to ground lightning out of this uh, coming up. It's probably about 10 miles ahead here. So we're moving west pretty much toward it. This will veer a little bit um, south of west. Oh, there's another cloud to ground. Beautiful. So that'll actually work out to uh, my advantage here. And I can see an inflow into this, certainly, right there. And um, you know, the storm in question is over there now somewhere. Had a real close call there in Chickasha. I don't know if we ever got a tornado developed. Uh, it was kind of a mess, a little bit of HP going on, high precipitation supercell interaction with the front. This storm might be a little bit more displaced from that, a little bit more warm uh, air flowing into it. So we'll see, that's how it looks on radar. That's the Chickasha storm that eventually did go tornado warned it. And that's the new one I'm pursuing. Again, kind of a non-traditional mess on radar, uh, but we'll make the most of it as it's about 7.15. So I think we're ingesting good air into this. And we're about to go through the town of Sterling here, slow down a little bit. That's our storm right there. And after we go through Sterling, we actually jog northwest a little bit, which will work out pretty well. It's dark. It's really, it's 7.19. We've got at least another half hour before sunset, but uh, this uh, this thunderstorm is blocking a lot of light and there's a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity behind it, so the ambient backlighting is not good. Okay, quick shot of the radar. 
just went through Sterling and uh, we're basically looking at the um, appendage there. I'm gonna get out of the vehicle and take a shot of this. All right, this is looking back to the east. Lots of terrific warm south, southeasterly wind flow into this thing. Just looking overhead. And then this is basically looking in the direction of, you can kind of see a mesocyclone in the wall cloud, or not a wall cloud, but a mesocyclone structure there. Kind of hard though. Lots of cloud to ground lightning. All kinds of interesting structure. That's looking more or less southwest. Panning to almost due west. Lots of cloud to ground lightning. The storm means business. Zoom in on that. That could be a wall cloud right there. Very well could be a wall cloud right there. Wouldn't be surprised. Lots of cloud to ground lightning. Well, it should be, unless it ships. Um, I'm a meteorologist. If I move, you move. <laughs> I mean, you're the one, but I don't want to go that way. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, so you got circulations here. You got one right there. A little bit of green tint. I saw one with that cloud rotate right up there. Yep. Right behind me in the pounding rain. Little hailstorm on uh, I-44. I'm sort of under an overpass. But the hail is coming from the south, so I'm not worried about my windshield too much. Not real large, but a lot of it. I'd say maybe uh, up to penny size and a couple of those, maybe. With someone else in front of me. It's a good idea to stop under here. Out of the hail a little bit. That's what it looks like on radar. We're pretty much in that purple area right there. Wow. Getting bigger. Getting bigger.